Junkyard Mook. I'm your host, Junkyard Mook. Okay, so I'm sure by now you guys have recognized what I'm sitting in, or most of you have. This is my 1972 Cutlass that Kevin and I got from Texas last fall. If you haven't seen uh, any of the videos on that, I'll tag the playlist above. It's on his channel. But Power Tour is in like five minutes, as is tradition, and we are wanting to take this. We can't remember what needs done on this, so I'm going to drive it for the rest of the week until we go and figure it out. I know it needs shocks, so I'm going to grab those from in the garage. Um, there's always a puddle underneath it, so I know we got to bring fluids, and I'm going to check for leaks. And then probably just some fine-tuning here and there, and whatever I come across, I'll address that as well. So, I'm going to go get the parts in my garage, and then we're going to go over to our shop and get this on the lift and work on it. And hopefully it makes it to a power tour. And yes, that is Booger Truck right there. He's doing great, running great. Um, I've been driving him around our farm, been driving him on little errands here and there. And it's great. I love it. Just took three years. <laughs> With that truck, I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop, but got my eye on you. Okay, let's go grab the stuff out of my garage and head to the shop. All right, I got the truck all loaded up with all the parts. Let's go. We have arrived. Very nice. Very nice. Has this car ever been in here? No. Huh. Get this hacker in the air, Mook. Yeah. We got like 30 hours. I told them that power tour was in five minutes. It's in four minutes now. <laughs> All right, up she goes. Oh. Before we go up. Oh, the AC. Ooh. We're gonna see if we can fix that so we're not dying on power tour. It doesn't seem great, not gonna lie, but it might work. It spins, but it keeps like hydraulically seizing. There you go. Wow. Hey, hey! You be careful there. Wheel bearing needs to tighten a little bit. Ooh. Leaky. You greasy pitch bastard, TM. All right, well, I'll leave you to it, Stinky. Thanks. I'm gonna go edit. Uh, yeah, you. You build our car for Power Tour this year. Yeah. Bye. Good luck. Alright. Oh crap. All the parts are in the trunk. <laughs> Alright, back down. I didn't know what all I would get into, so I just brought uh, everything. Okay, but first and foremost, I'm doing shocks, so I got those out. And now I'm gonna get to work on those. Okay, I've got the lift on just the first lock, so I'm able to get the upper and the lower part of the shock here. Wow. <laughs> These just rocks? These are 100% just rocks. Look at all this weight reduction. I'm gonna be so fast. With this little two barrel. I'm going to start on the bottom of the shock here, so I need to get these two nuts. And then it'll just be the top one, and then it should be out. Hopefully. We'll see. First one is out. Yay! There we go. Now I just have to get the top one without it hopefully spinning a bunch. We couldn't get this top nut to loosen without the whole shock spinning. No matter what we did, even if we started up there and then did the bottom bolts, it still spun. Couldn't get a clamp on it or anything, but we figured this out. 
accidentally. Figured maybe if we pulled down on the shaft body really hard, it'll seize the shaft. And it do. <laughs> you gotta pull really hard and oil it first so that it comes off. <laughs> this is a really poor design though. Because I freaking hate GM shafts. Yes. Their suspension's good, their shafts suck. And it's free. Sweet. Whoa! All right, get some new ones in there, stinky. Do you come home hungry after your busy day to find nothing in the fridge, no time to go grocery shopping, and still want to eat healthy? This is where Factor comes in. With Factor, skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy and then get back to your busy lives. Wanting to budget this month by cutting back on takeout? Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. Need an extra boost to support your wellness goals this summer? Try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code MOOC50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mm. And now back to the video. Okay, both front shocks are out. Time to put the new ones in, so I'm just taking off. Oh, there goes the jam nut. I'm just taking off the hardware. The bushings. Okay, not that you guys are gonna be able to really see this at all, but I'm gonna try to put it, or install at least the top part of this. Oh, oh geez. There's an old bushing up here. What are we hitting? Oh, oh, oh. Almost got it. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll tighten that one down and then get the jam nut on and install the the base of the shock. All right, I repeated everything on the driver's side and now both front shocks are in. Now to move on to the rear. <laughs> What'd you have to move? Um, actually I'm making quite a lot of progress on the rear shocks. Hell yeah. They're easier than I was anticipating. Usually, at least down or up north, they're a nightmare. Because they get all rusted and there's no cutting them without cutting the floor. I'm just glad I don't have to go in through the trunk. It, yeah, really good metal in here. You <laughs> should cut that. Well, you keep kicking ass. I'm gonna go at it. Okay, I got one shock out. I feel like that's gonna be the easier one on the back too because there is exhaust around this one. Last bolt of the last shock. These rear shocks were actually so much easier than the front ones. Yeah, the front ones of these cars suck. Come on. Here we go. That's it, goodbye. Sprangs? Oh. Sprangs. <laughs> they get here at 8 a.m., so. Okay, let's go have supper about it. Those are awfully shiny, Kevin. Yes. Well, I painted them, and that made them longer. Oh, sure. Yep. It's the truth. Mm -hmm. It's not the truth. <laughs> Unfortunately, make them longer. Makes this a little harder. So, uh, yeah, we went to O'Reilly's, and I got what looked to maybe be heavy-duty springs. I don't know. Regardless, they're going to go in here now. They are... A little taller than the old ones. They might be the same as the old ones, and the old ones just got compressed. Yeah, One, if you guys didn't notice, which there might not have been a good angle, but the back of this car really sagged, so. It was bad. <laughs> Big saggy. There we go, there's one. Yay! Now the hard one. Okay, conducting an orchestra with two Pry bars, and it's in. Yay! There you go, stinky. Throw some shocks on it, drop it on its ass, and see how it sits. I think it's upside down. No, shut up. <laughs> there is no upside down. <laughs> 
now it is time for the shots. I've got my new lower hardware here and I'll reuse the upper hardware. But let's get them in. So I know you can't really see what's going on up here, but I'm just putting the nuts on the bolts quick before I even pick up the new shock. Then I'll slide them into place. Stay there. Washer, lock washer, and the nut. There we go, nice and finger tight for now. I'm gonna get the other side hooked up and then we'll get all of these tightened down for good. So I am putting the front tires back on now. I'm excited to drop this thing and see how it stands in the back after the new springs and shocks. But let's get these zipped on. All right, we're gonna drop it, see how it stands now. <laughs> that is much better, actually. Much better. I got how much more tire you can fit in. I know. <laughs> Look at it from the side. It'll settle. All right, and right back in the air to take the tank out. That was short lived. I don't think we've ever put a tank in without having to immediately remove it before. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but my gas gauge is stuck on E. So I have to have a whole note page in my phone of the mileage when I filled up and how much I put in the tank. And then I have to do big math, and I don't like that, so well, maybe we'll try to fix. Also, there's like a stain over here, and I'm wondering if there's like yes, a leak or something. I saw that. How much is in it now, do you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like my either. <laughs> now I got all the lines disconnected from the fuel tank, so it's just the bolts and straps that are left. I'm waiting for Kevin's help to be a second set of hands on that. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to swap out this carburetor. What I also forgot to mention was this car has a new radiator in it and new hoses top and bottom. We switched it out real quick off camera before a car show one day just so it can make it to and from it. So yeah, that's why there's a new radiator and that's why it wasn't filmed. Okay, time to start getting linkages, springs, bolts, everything off the carburetor so I can take it off the car and put a different carburetor on. It'll still be a two barrel. So this is the carburetor that is going on to this car. This is actually off of Kevin's Cutlass, but of course, with any carburetor, I'll go through and make sure everything looks good before I just throw it on my car, like the transfer slots here. Apparently this ran perfect when he took it off. He just wanted a four barrel on that car. So hopefully this is just plug and play for the most part and this car runs better, but who knows. Oh, there we go. Nice. I think you guys all know what time it is now. I gotta prep that gasket surface, so that means the super scraper is coming out. Just gonna clean this up. I got my old gasket and it is cracked. Obviously not gonna use that one again. So I traced a new one on some gasket material, now I just have to cut it out. Well, there it is. This is as good as it's gonna get for now, so hopefully that works. I'm gonna slap this on and we'll put the carburetor on too. Well, I already twisted it. Okay, I'm gonna get these bolted down and I'll be back. Kevin's here, we're getting the carb on and getting all the connections on, on it again. That's the PCB. Okay. That's... Bing, bing, bing. This tank looks so weird with the old tank straps. Why didn't we switch them? I can't remember. I don't remember either. The 
There shouldn't be too much in the tank. Last time I filled up, I only put 10 gallons in and I drove 120 miles. Here's the thing. It's still plugged in, so there's no reason this shouldn't work. I know. All right, we need you in the car to watch the gauge, see if it does anything. Oh! Yeah! Oh no! So as we've said, we're dropping the tank to see if we can get that gas gauge working. So I get to go in the car now. <laughs> you go, you stinky. All right. Tell her if she goes to full, full. Anything? No. All right. You can't see anything, so I'll be back. It works literally perfect. What the heck? <laughs> Mmm, there's a baffle back in there. And I bet this aftermarket tank and this other brand of aftermarket sender, that sender probably hits that baffle and got stuck. Oh. Well, that might work. I added this bend to bring this back a quarter inch. And now it still has the same motion, stays flat and level the whole time. But hopefully, A goes in, B misses the... There's a little shroud. Still hits it. Dang. Got to bend a little more. I think that'll clear. Can't say I've ever seen that one, Mook. Let's get this reinstalled. Maybe get some like rust uh, reversing paint up in there. And, yeah, we can paint your straps over here too. How about that? Clean them up first though? Yeah, clean them up a little bit. The essentials for Power Tour. Look at these. You know what they say about Chrome will get you home. Although those are... Uh, I don't think this is Chrome. Japanized or whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. I learned about it in school. But I don't remember the words. You went to school? Yeah, for a little bit. Look how good they're turning out though. I know. They did dang good. Meanwhile, I'm going to be hitting all this with Rust Reformer because it's supposed to rain all week. And we want to save this car in general. Right, Stinky? Yeah. Not, never a terrible idea to do above the gas tank before putting a gas tank in. All right, tank's going back in. You ready? No. Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, son of a Oh, bitch. we didn't do the top connections, did we? No. Nope. Every time. all the lines back to it and we'll move on. We leave tomorrow. Ready Mook? Yeah. New carb is on. We got the heater tour looped to its, well, it's excluded. We have the heater ports looped in themselves because that thing leaks, we're pretty sure. You turn the heat on and the window fogs up immediately. Let's see how this thing, this thing ran great on my green old mobile that never got a video, but was on power tour. So let's see if we'll do it again. Go ahead. Cranking. Yeah, she's gonna take a little bit of fill up. Go ahead. Should have fuel by now. Her again, she needed a little clean. So, not perfect, but it's better. That's definitely better than what it was. Is it? No fuel gauge. No fuel gauge? Are you serious? Yeah. You bastard. Maybe it's just out of gas. There wasn't a ton in it. Your odometer works, right, for now? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go off that. <laughs> You might need the timing set. You might need that car dial in. She's a little shaky. It's also cold, but I don't know. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's not. 
There. I need you to floor it. Ready? <laughs> All right, crank. Big dead. So we gotta clean out. There we go. Got a little boggy. Maybe it's got a weak fuel pump, who knows? Probably not. We're gonna be back in the morning though and fix the AC, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. It might run like crap, but maybe we'll maybe have AC potentially. Oh, good job. Yeah. <laughs> good night. Good morning everyone. Right now, as you can see, I've got the carburetor top off. I am putting a new accelerator pump diaphragm in here. Although this one looks fine. I don't know why that wasn't working. Must have shrunk. Regardless, hopefully this new diaphragm will give us an accelerator pump. Uh, yeah, anyway, trying to fix the accelerator pump so that it fixed the uh, little bog we have off idle. And then it's time to dive into the air conditioning. All right, time for AC. Uh, there's two ways to do this, the right way and the wrong way. Looking at the amount of time we have left before we need to leave, I'm gonna go with the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> I've taken this jumper, confirmed the compressor does kick on and spin just fine. What you're supposed to do is replace all these lines, more so actually just replace all the O-rings at the end of the lines with green R134 O-rings. They are an entire molecule pack. And R134 molecules are smaller and can go through both the lines and the rings. That's a green line. I wondered about this. This has a different compressor and a different receiver dryer that both say 134 or R12. This car's already been converted. It does not have the sticker for it, but it has all this. Now the question is, did they adjust the POA valve? Oh, this is a POA valve eliminator. Oh, this, oh shit, this has been like done done before. Hell, I'm putting this back together. Let's back this thing down and charge it. Well, it didn't work at all. As you can see, I can kind of turn it and then it'll just yeet, freeze up. So that compressor's junk, I think. I don't know, don't have time to care anymore. We absolutely need to hit the road. So I want to pack this, we're going to get the hell out of here. All right, well, I'm not Mook and I'm not half as pretty to look at, but it is like 3.30 and we need to be hitting the road so i'm going to drive her car home and pick her up and we'll get the hell out of here we that yeah, seems better off the line with this car it should be this was a good car it ran great on that 70. the accelerator pump stopped working already it worked for like 0.2 seconds but whatever all right well 13 gallons i guess it was just empty who would have thunk pretty sure that's a 15 gallon tank all right, well, it looks like it still hits the baffle. So a uh, quarter tank is full and empty is empty-ish. So it kind of does the surgy drop in a cylinder thing and it's, it's a new carb, so I don't think it's a carb issue unless it's got a, a big vacuum leak we didn't find on either of them or somewhere else we haven't found. I don't, I don't know. I think someone messed with the points at one point before we got there. I gotta wonder. Hey, stinky. That dang dust cap. Yeah, they both fell off. <laughs> I tried. It's better, still stumbles. So it's not a carburetor issue. It's either a vacuum leak or ignition issue. Doesn't matter, we don't have time. Let's pack and get the hell out of here. We got like eight minutes till we're about four hours too late. Instead of three hours and 52 minutes too late. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Back to the shop. All right. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Here we go. Let's do it, Mook. 963 miles, land order. Where you we put go? my door handles on. Yes, yes I did. Yes. A little more scratching up my door panels for me. Yeah. This one was missing the knob. All right, and we're off. We gathered the last few things from the shop. Kevin's gonna drive because one of the brakes got hot and oh. he wants to see what's going on. I don't know what that was about. Our dust caps fell off, so we put them back on and I burnt my hand off on that brake. Hey, Google. Directions to Atlanta, Georgia. 924 East and will take about 13 hours and 46 minutes in light traffic. 26.5 miles. Like, oh. Alright, here we go. Are we there yet? Don't even start. We've only gone like, what, 30, 30 miles? miles. 
<laughs> what do you think Mook will it do 3,000 miles? I really don't know. I don't know either. Now's the chance to decide though, because that way's power tour, that way's home. Okay, here's the results. 8.1 gallons in about 110 miles gives us yeah, 14 miles a gallon. 13.75 with half of that being at negative two initial timing, the rest being at proper initial timing. So we'll probably get all of 16 out of this car. All right, here's the deal, Moogers. When the gauge moves off one quarter, that means we've used eight gallons. That's how much you put in? Yeah. Eight? Oh. So, okay. that means half a tank is left. <laughs> yeah. It's just an indicator that says, hey, there's a half. I don't know what empty means. I don't even really know what anything above a quarter because it doesn't go there. So it's the most useless indicator ever, but a half tank indicator. All right, well, I'm gonna take a nap, so. Good night. Yeah. She floods a little bit. There she be, though. There she, there she do be, <laughs> though. You are 980 south for 13 miles. I did it. I'm in between semis. That's exactly where I want to be. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Onward. Hi. <laughs> so high. Let me see if I can see it. You see it? 829 miles left. Easy peasy. Ah. Way to go. You spit on the windshield. How's the drive going, Mook? Pretty good. How many miles we at? We got nice windshield wipers. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. At least something worked. We've got about 165, 170. Is that all? I like to make St. Louis tonight. We'll see. How far away is that? A I'm, billion. I have no idea where we are. I think that's like 300 something from home. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah. The Mook. Hello. It's just audible Mook now. It's a podcast. Ooh. Ooh, it's spooky. You want to tell scary stories? Yeah, once upon a time. Ah! Pure concentration. Well, this is fun, huh, Mook? got a towel shoved over here in the corner because it's spraying onto my face. Luke's got a big drip over there somewhere. I gotta keep wiping the windshield off because it keeps clogging up. Oh shit, here we go again. I have no idea where the lane is. We'll see you at the hotel assuming we live. Ta-da! It's only like 12, 20 at night. We're here. I don't know about you, Stinky, but I'm ready for bed. Good morning. Good morning, Mook. It's raining still. <laughs> yep. And it ain't gonna stop from the looks of it until we get to like Tennessee. <laughs> we have 566 miles to go. Eight and a half hours. And if we leave right now, we're already late for reg registration. Well, Google thinks we're already on the interstate, so that's good. A bus! Let's just take that. It's fine. It's all fine. Water to our 2023. Now we're driving through a Tosh on NASCAR track. Stop! We're blowing holes in my ship! Oh my god, 
gosh, he did it. Oh my gosh, I wonder how long it goes. Oh, it just keeps going. On the second mile now. There it is, Moon. 500 miles. Yay. Or something to go. Bless you. There you go. Hi. I think she had a pee. Meanwhile, we're at uh, 600 miles here, or what, yeah, 600, so uh, I'll put some gas in it, we'll keep going. There she goes. Oh, oh, I thought they were getting stuck. All right, moved half a million miles left. I'm still in denial. <laughs> Luke says we're about an hour behind him, which doesn't look like he's having a good day since this is where he started this morning. And there's coolant all over the ground. If your screen's dark. Oh, dang. Hmm. West. West. <laughs> <laughs> Go west. Thanks, phone. 389 miles, six hours. Turn left onto US 62 West. Turn left on the US 62 West. I'm going straight. No. What's your favorite part of traffic, Mook? The lack of AC. Oh, that's a good part. Yeah, it's really hot in here suddenly. Yeah. Uh, don't ask me about that sign. I don't know. It was weird. But, this was the first power tour car we saw. And this is Kevin pointing at him saying, follow that guy. Did you see what I just saw? A maverick. Go get him, Mook. We had finally caught up to Luke. Yeah, you guys caught up a lot. I stopped early yesterday. Awesome. I've been trying to dawdle once I heard you guys didn't leave very early, and I was like, they'll catch up to me eventually. I didn't think we'd see you, and then suddenly there you were, right in front of me. We saw our I first- I stopped like three times in the last two hours. <laughs> we saw our first old car, which is that green Camaro that probably drove past. Mm. We're like, oh, a power tour car. I was like, oh, another one. Wait, that's Luke. <laughs> Fuel? Yeah. Driver change? Yeah. Little black cloud action. She floods a little. I can't talk. I'm just like trying not to overheat every second. With my fan, it's like a computer fan, basically. <laughs> but it's like a little pinwheel. It's got a little mouse under there. All right, here we go. I take it, Willie. Four hours. Oh, David. It's just like the first quarter, but in the end. Yeah. Actually. It's Immediate issues. Yeah. 1 800 hecked. Alright, have fun driving. It's sandwich time. So, one unfortunate thing about not having AC is that we have to have the windows down, which means poor audio for the video. So, as our miles kept rolling and we headed further south than our convoy of two, we saw more and more power tour vehicles. At this point, Luke decided it was time to stick his foot out the window to get some air. 
Eventually we reach the part of the drive that gets steep and windy, and this is where you hope people don't just ride their brakes, but they normally do, and then brakes get hot, and they stop working. Thankfully we were able to navigate around them to prevent our car's brakes from getting too hot. At this point we started to see some absolutely beautiful scenery. It's unfortunate that Power Tour was far away from us this year, but it allowed us to see all of this. The first stop was Atlanta, Georgia, and this was the first time seeing it on a sign. There's another odd sign. Leave it to Bucky's. to Georgia 20 okay. East, then turn left onto Georgia 20 East. Anyway, right we're almost to our hotel, so we're gonna skedaddle and hopefully find some food. Do supper with some friends and then see them tomorrow for day one of Hot Red Power Tour. High five. Good job, Cutlass. Morning, Mook. Morning. Where are we headed, Mook? We're going to Summit Racing. There's a Summit Racing store down here. And we've never been to one, and we want to see what it's about. And we're gonna go raid it. Across the road here. Turn right. Oh, there's the sign. I'm excited. Me too. I've never been to one of these. Me either. I've always wanted to. Oh hell yeah! This is gonna be awesome. Look at a Bel Air. Yeah. Yeah, the we got cars on the ceiling. That was awesome. And race cars. Oh, I don't want to stick it. Oh my god, Kevin, how are you going to sell a tanker? It's the size of me and I need it. Did you find what you needed? Yes. <laughs> the only thing. <laughs> None of these is one of those, huh? Look at this. Look, we're in heaven. Pumping the bombas. Oh, discontinued superchargers. <laughs> Ten bucks, that's a steal. I feel like I'm in a candy store, yeah. <laughs> they don't even make these anymore. This is actually the museum part. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That them there's a Ford. Them and am. <laughs> Should we do some shopping? Yeah. This must be the scratch and sniff section. Suppose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? What did you get? Nothing yet. Hasn't left the store yet. Well, I guess I better call the bank. <laughs> Tell them to shut the cart off. <laughs> they got us good, folks. They got us good. Mook, I blame you for all this. <laughs> Not fair. Should we go drop our treasures at the hotel room and go into the event? Yeah. Let's do it. You don't want to carry these around all day? Not really. They're kind of heavy and crushing me, despite being aluminum. Once again, the wind was my enemy, but here we are on our way to the first venue after dropping off all of our summit racing stuff. There it is, Mook. The line. Yay. I get to eat my sandwich. <laughs> Yay. That is a reason for rejoice. Bye, Moog. Bye, Kevin. Ow. Oh, how did this happen? I got out to open the hood to avoid the fate of those guys. I got left behind immediately. A little trick if you're in traffic like this. I 
pop the hood up a little, little, little higher or whatever. Check that out. All right, time for check-in. Oh, who it is. All right, here we are. We checked in, did the registration, whatever. And we got our sticker. The whole reason we came. All right, let's go home. I think there's a little more reasons. Oh, fine. Custom fabrication. He's messing bang, bang. up our special moment. <laughs> Kevin, can you believe it? They're gonna let us in. Oh, wow. We get to go see cars. Everyone's been having a car show in the parking lot for check-in. <laughs> We're not even at the car show. Yeah. After you, El Scrapo. <laughs> Excuse me, that was gross. So what? Oh, he wants to race. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is some kind of staging for a while. Might as well go check some cars out, eh? Well, the second stationary car show was fun. Yeah. Ready to go into the third one? Yeah. Let's see. It is 107. Jesus. <laughs> what time do the venues close again? Like five Four. or six? <laughs> five, oh. I don't know. Head on in whenever you want, huh? In a golf cart, yeah. <laughs> you know, numbers. There's a, there's a crowd here. <laughs> Does that even fit here? <laughs> Congratulations, Mook. You've made it in your cutlass officially to the first day of Hot Rod Power Tour. High five. Let's go see some sights and smell some smells. Smell some sights and see some stinks. What? Got a bunch. The fun thing about Power Tour is you are going to see a whole range of different vehicles all in one spot, and they're from all over the place. Each venue setup is wildly different, so looking at the cars may be easier at some than others, but it's always my favorite part. I love going around and seeing the different builds, and if I'm lucky, I even get to hear the story on the car. Alright, Kevin, what are we up to? We have walked around talking to a bunch of people, and now met a lot of fans. Thank you to everyone who came up and said hi. Uh, now we're headed to the staging area ourselves a little $50 pass to do a lap on the track which sounds like a waste of 50 bucks but it's hilarious and a lot of fun because it's like this <laughs> this thing will probably just body roll right down the hill I hope not we got Ike here too oh yeah back. also <laughs> all right I'll check back in with you guys when Kevin's trying to hit the pace car yeah wow this Cutlass has had a very slow life until now. Yeah. I've driven back and forth to town 86,000 <laughs> times. And now it's on a racetrack <laughs> after a 1,000 mile road trip in Georgia. We're behind the GTO. All right, move. We'll see if we can outrun a GTO. We can't. So let's see if the old I'll girl's tell you that right hand. now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. 
I've never been on a track like this. This is nuts. <laughs> it's the ground. How are we not sliding down to I the bottom? I don't know. How do we not de-beat the tires? This is uh, pretty sweet. I wonder if this one's just as uh, banky. Oh, yeah. Banky. 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 term. It's a new term. I made it myself. Oh, yeah, the camera. That GTO, the back of it kind of swayed a little bit. The faster you go, the better it feels. The speed helps a lot. How old are these tires? They're new. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is only last year. <laughs> oh, look at this. You can't actually see very far ahead. I never thought of that. All right, I'll try to hold it level. That's level. Oh, no, it's we're only not. doing 40 this time. Dive, dive, dive. Oh man. Oh no. The wheel, the steering wheel is sideways. <laughs> wow. This is really cool. This is neat. Oh man, that was fun. And we're off. That's day one. A lot of people, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I don't think we even remember to film anything. Our tour is busy. Yeah. We're off to get dinner with our friends and call it a night. Yep. Then get up and do it all again tomorrow. Yep. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then we go home. Whee! Alright, don't lock this out. Yeah, I actually made it pretty good. Here, you need a card? Hey. Thank you, newspaper, Kevy. You're welcome. Morning, Mook. Hey, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Are y'all ready for this? Day yeah. dose. Day dose. Day dose. All right. To well, Summit. To Summit Racing, Ike wanted to explore Summit a little bit, so. And I want to look again. Who are we to deny him that, you know? Right. That plus, is terrible. Plus the scratch and sniff section probably ain't empty yet. Give it an hour. It'll all be in the back of my car list. <laughs> Of course, audio has failed me, but on this drive, we saw how badly Ike needs new shocks on that thing. Ike might need some shocks. <laughs> yes. I want to stop at the stop sign. It's the promised land. <laughs> yeah, I love stop <laughs> What? <laughs> you just blow through the stop sign. Yeah, so did Ike, so it's fine. <laughs> Safety <laughs> numbers. All right, move. Into the promised land. I think that's good enough. Oh! You ever heard of that YouTube guy? Hey, you're famous. No. no. <laughs> well, Mook, we did it again. There's a really nice guy named Steve there. He's kind of in charge and he knew who we were and he's a fan. And he's like, we can, we can hook you up a little bit. GSX. Oh! Dream car. But yeah, big thank you to Steve and Summit Racing down here in Atlanta for giving us a little extra discount on the discount parts. We can't fit anything else in this car. No, you have to stop. It's like we didn't even put springs on it at this point. All right, we're two movers. Gas station. Yes, we need gas, and then the first leg is 50 minutes. I don't, it's a four and a half hour drive today. The Google doesn't really tell me. It just goes stop by stop on the map. Cha. Cha. driving because I had to eat my breakfast but we'll switch off it's like five hours four and a half hours five five hours so it'll be six for us Eight. <laughs> Eight. maybe we'll catch the next day <laughs> all right onward for like ever yeah Bye. so here we go again facing my mortal enemy the wind Anyway, we figured we were on route because we already saw a car. Uh, Ike's behind us, as you can see. Power Tour is really where my percussion skills come in handy once again, so there's that. There's more cars. And even more cars. Uh, I just realized that sign says Laurel and Hardy Museum, so I can't believe I didn't notice that then. There was a really sneaky driver change there, and then I noticed that two cars were pulled over. Decided that looks no bueno. 
Uh, this is Kevin pointing at the highway, saying we're taking the highway instead of the route because we were at Summit Racing for a little too long, and this cut our travel in half for the day, so yeah, we did that. Uh, there's Ike being sneaky in the wagon back there. And just like that, we have scampered into South Carolina. We are both pumped that much closer to the venue. The Cutlass gets Pats for entering yet another new state for it. One thing about Power Tour, if you've never gone, you will encounter people taking pictures of cars. This will often cause weird traffic patterns, so just be on the lookout for that. And on the other side, be careful because there is people just on their day-to-day -day commute who have no idea what's going on. Here you can see we made it to the venue. Now we just have to figure out where to park. Well, once again, no traffic, so that's nice. We just gotta figure out where we're supposed to be. I don't know where to go. We made it move. Barely. Barely. What do you mean barely? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, let's go see what day two has to offer. All right. Right, move. Yeah. Oh, there's Luke. Oh, yeah. How come we didn't see that? I wasted no time in looking around at the cars near me, but especially loved this GTO that was called The Grudge. We then headed in to get our cards punched to mark off day two. Then something really cool happened this day. Oh my god, are you famous? Nope. Are you? You are almost at a million. Yeah, you're kind of cute. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. How close are you guys? We are 39 away. 39? 39. Oh, well that's going to be kind of boring, not going to lie. Yeah. I forgot, YouTube itself counts by hundreds. Yeah. I can see tens. Hey, it's a big bean! Hey, hey, big bean! Everyone, really quick, unsubscribe. That's what I All said. Right. 16 off. Oh. 15 off. That's 25. Never mind. 25 off. Oh, everybody. Ma! The YouTubes! Subscribe! The Junkyard Beans! <laughs> <laughs> what? Junkyard. No, do it right now. Pull out your phone and subscribe right now, all of you. Hey, yo, Ma! Yes, this is the extortion I've been waiting for for <laughs> six years. I know. Oh, oh, one away. <laughs> what? Congratulations, Kevin! So. We're here when Kevin just hit a million subscribers, and what's truly amazing is that at Roadkill Nights in 2017, that was the first time me and Kevin met. He was a little thinner, he didn't have a beard, looked a lot different, and he was wondering what he was gonna do after high school, essentially. And he's talking to me, and he's like, well, I used to make YouTube videos, but I haven't made any in a while. And I was like, well, why not just do that? And so he started up Junkyard Digs again, and really just, we came here, so I was there from that conversation to what just happened right now. I was standing right beside him. It's absolutely amazing. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. And it's hot outside. I have actual goosebumps. Like, I'm so proud of that guy. Like, it's been so great to know him over the years. I love it. And to see that happen. It's yes. amazing. No other people could deserve that more. We're proud of Kevin. It's awesome. <laughs> there you son of a fish. Congrats on a million. Thank you. <laughs> That we spin. We <laughs> did it. We did it, man. Now, let's go take our friends out for some drinks. Because that's what it's about. It's not about me, it's about the community.
back here. <laughs> Greg wants to be there. Whenever you see an old or picturesque place in general, you always, always, always pull over and take pictures in front of it. It's the power tour law. What's the status update, Mook? I don't know. What? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Darlington? Yes, we approached <laughs> Darlington. Back on the route. We still have Craig. Howdy. <laughs> He's, I've, He's, I've, I've made more headroom. I kind of like scrunched down and we're good. He's, He's still cramped, but he's back there. That's fine. We got, I don't know, an hour or something left. Let's get her done, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Big sleepy. Okay, I know what I just said about finding cool places and taking pictures in front of it. But I don't think we could have gotten to that one, to be honest. Also, here we are crossing the line into North Dakota. North Dakota. North Carolina. North Carolina. Jeez. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, Jesus. Are we at the sand dunes? Oh, wow. I'm in danger. Don't lift. You might get stuck. Oh, my gosh. Look, you hear Tom. Tom's having so much fun back oh, Everyone else that's screwing with the other way. <laughs> There's Ike. Yeah, there. there. I think. I don't see anybody. They're just down a little ways. Uh, I don't see them. I can see they're off to the side. I wonder if one of them got stuck. There they are. The service truck stopped there too. Yeah, Tom's standing on his car because I think he buried it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, this looked like a nice white concrete road on the map. <laughs> the rescue truck, yeah. Weird. I pulled this by the sway bar before. It's not my first rodeo. Right. I'm running out of gas. We're gonna turn the group around and go travel on not sand. We escaped the crazy sand dunes and made it to our venue, all of us in one piece, thankfully. All right, time for day three. Day trace. golf cart ride back outside the venue but don't worry we didn't get kicked out yet just kidding we went to go get the cutlass and bring it in we thought one day inside the venue would be fun
Ike and I got to hang out with this pup for a little bit. His name was Ace. I get to decorate with stickers. But we have been having trouble finding hotels tonight that aren't either three hours away or $700 a night. So Kevin called <laughs> the local army base. The local army base. Fort something somewhere. Because there's a IHG army hotel on it. Yeah. And if we can get all three of us into the army base, I can go right in. Yeah. We can get you guys in. Yeah. It's $90 a night. It has availability, and it's on an army base, so no one's gonna mess with our cars. <laughs> Let's hope it works. Let's go find out. Yeah. Into the sunset. We are on route to our army base hotel. Nine o'clock, we should get there. Oh, God. First of all, I just think it's really funny that we're on Chicken Road. That is funny. Mmm, it's just like being at home. Stuff bad attractive. Well, we've started our own army. Yeah, we can't get around these guys. They keep slowing down in all the no passing zones and speeding up for the rest. There it is, Mook. Let's go figure out this system. Uh. Uh, straight to jail. <laughs> we did it. We we're on base. We got the metal large suite. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my it's this is nicer than any army establishment I've ever spent an hour in. Nevertheless, say eight months. What have we? What have I been doing wrong this whole time? We got our own room. Oh, but the light switches don't work. Oh, there's no electricity. Okay, back on par. <laughs> That's the fan switch, you stinky. There's two switches. Look at this. Look at this. They even afforded. Oh, no, no, nothing makes sense. Yay! Look at this. Is that a bathroom? Wait, is that the only bathroom? We got we got what would be like a three hundred dollar room in a normal hotel as civilians on a base for a hundred and six dollars. Is this a new life hack? Yes. Let's not give it away. Oh, it, when we this place is was pretty full. Of it was food. terrible. Yeah, the food. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of assholes this walking around. Is, this must be smoking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Don't do this. Terrible idea. Is that All right. Well, we'll see you in the morning after a terrible night of sleep in our own room. <laughs> Good night, stinky. Good morning, Mook. Good morning. How was your night? Pretty good. How was your first time staying on an army base? Good. Good. Comfortable bed. Yeah, very not normal experience. It was excellent. And we totally left our beds unmade. Ah. Usually we'd be hung by the neck by now. Where are we going, Mook? Museum. Yeah. Being on Fort Bragg, or Fort Liberty, uh, we're going to go check out the Airborne Museum. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like dry, but not at the same time, so it's hard to eat it fast. The, the thing with the stuff that's old that we look at. 
and not furniture to this Those time. are definitely words. Good job. Oh, shit. Um, look at this move thing. <laughs> we got a parade. Don't mind us. They might be a little busy today. <laughs> Army training, sir. <laughs> Dude, they knew we were coming. I know, man. <laughs> we got us a parade. I know, we got the band going. <laughs> Where you going, Hecker? Yonder. Yonder. What'd you find, Mook? Uh, it seems to be a large plane. A big flying bubble. Wow, this thing is a weird shape. Dude, this is so cool. Hey, be nicer to me, please. What? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't paint up the windows, you can actually see. All the controls and everything. Still you know, it's weird seeing planes that say Army on it. Yeah. I've never thought of that. Though. Can we do a revival on that? Right there. Right here? Yeah. This would be like that scene from Stripes. Just fire your weapons, soldier. At what, sir? <laughs> Just fire it. <laughs> uh. Probably still works. <laughs> she has seen better days, huh? I think she might need a little TLC, Ike, but it'll run. Hi. Oh, hey. It's got buttons. It so. does. It does still have buttons. Most, most of the gauges are gone. No gauges, yeah. All the gauges are gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, they found a tank. Uh, wah. Uh, wah. Oh, this one doesn't have any eyes. It's sleepy. We're gonna go inside now. Are we allowed inside? I don't know. I don't have a cack. It's probably not. Oh, no. What do you think's in here? Is there more planes? I don't know. Have that removed. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? <gasps> Well, Mook? Well, Kevin, it's time to leave. We must go to Power Tour. Yeah, I suppose. That's Eventually. reality. Well, let's see what time is it. Ike! <laughs> Bang. Okay. Is there anything fun in there? It's empty. You can't even see it. Oh, yeah, it's welded good. shut. <laughs> <laughs> Rascal. It's 11 o'clock. We should get there right as it's closing. Yay, right on schedule. Very nice. She did it. Oh, sucker. Nice. All right, let's find our way out of base. Yeah, probably get some gas and hit the route. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know either, I'll have to look it up. Okay. Gas stop? Yeah. Gas stop. Better fill up before we get far out of town so we can hit the old highway. Uh, that's good. I wonder where Giggles is. <laughs> that was a dumb joke, but I stand by it. Uh, I thought it was funny. The gas station was called Sheets, for the record, in case you didn't see that. Um, audio failed again. Apparently it's super windy. This is the most lumber I've seen sitting outside ever. Kevin said that had to be at least 40 bucks sitting right there. And I agree, that's at least 40 bucks. What's up, Stink? Um, I think we're getting close. We are. We are indeed. Quite close. I've heard there's some traffic here, so once again, alternate route, enter from the other side, we should be good. Yay. Or lost, we'll see. Done did it move. We made it. Made it to Z Max Dragway. You know, it's fine when we're moving, but when we stop and wait in these lines, it gets a little toasty. It's warm.
Day four. Here we go. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be okay, Mook. I don't know that. So if you see those boxes laying on the ground there, those are banners that people were taking from. They were thrown away. But Kevin started handing them out to everybody he saw. So that was hilarious. Here's the tunnel that we walked through to get into the venue and over to where we needed to punch our cards. What are you talking about? I've got a sticker for you if you'd like. We're gonna take a break, we'll be back, back after these words from our sponsors. And just like that, before we noticed, the venue was closing and it was time to leave and find some supper. Um, hang on. What's up, Mook? Well, we came out after supper. And at which I said we never had touched the car. And I saw a big old puddle of coolant over there. Let me swing around. Hang on. Yeah, not great. Big old puddle of coolant. All right, what's going on here? It's probably that, that red hose that I had troubles with before we left. I had to tighten yep. the shit out of it. Look at that right there. It's green. Yep, okay, well, here you go. Got your pliers. That better. We'll either fix it or ignore it at this point. One day left. All right, we gave the hose clamp a few more uh, tightenings, I guess. frank we're, we're gonna top off the radiator and I'm gonna spill everywhere. All we gotta do is make it 10 miles tonight and go to bed because we're dying. It's just water. It's we're very tired. Ah, fixed. <laughs> Back on the road. Can't say we didn't work on it. <laughs> there we go. We tightened the hose clamp. Good job, team. Loaded up, ready to go, Moop? Yep. All right, let's do it. Take a right. Take a right and hope she don't leak, right? Mm -hmm. Weird, it just suddenly started. Eh, it probably needs capped off. We'll deal with that later. Yeah. Wait, where did the map go? There it is. I don't know. You tell me. Okay, go straight here. Oh, I just shut it off and there was a burnout. I don't believe you. There's no smoke to prove that. Yeah, you're right. Still none. I don't... You're full of crap. Listen here, you fish bastard. What? Well, we made it to our hotel for the night. We're gonna go check in and have a sleep. And we will see you for day five. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Mook. What are we doing once again? Oh, it's the weekend still. Yup. Who could have foreseen this? Yup. That's a big puddle. That's a pretty good puddle. <laughs> I think it's that same fitting, so yeah, it's all wet. It looks like it. Heck. Well, here's what I propose as a solution. Top her mm. off in another hose clamp. More hose clamp. <laughs> Open that. Well, the hell's oh, vacuum all night. Bye! <laughs> so, not that big of a leak. Oh, my car alarm's going off. Wow, Luke. going to wake everyone up. Hey, quit spilling that. That stuff's expensive. Now it's leaking now that I've taken the hose clamp off to move it. Mm. Weird. Good morning, Stinky. Good morning again. Hello. All right, we got our temporary, hopefully somewhat fix on that thing for now. Now, I'm gonna drink my coffee as we are off to street side. Yes, sorry. Uh, someone texted me, are you still pooping? That would be me. Yeah, I was trying to deal with that. I was worried about you. <laughs> we are indeed off to street side classics. All right, we'll see you there. Ready to go look at cars? Hell yes. I haven't seen a car all week. Me neither. <laughs> So this is one of Streetside Classics locations. If you haven't heard of them, definitely check them out on their website. They are consignment based. We visited them in 2019 on Power Tour as well and they always have a beautiful collection of cars. Well that was really cool again. Heck yeah it was. I love going there. Beautiful cars, nice people, t-shirts. 
T-shirts. T-shirts. All right, we're off to get gas and then make our way to Bristol, Tennessee. Bristol, Tennessee. Yeah. Tennessee. Goodbye. These windy roads were fun and of course beautiful. Unfortunately we got stuck behind an SUV that just held their brakes the whole time for a while. Oh we made it to Tennessee! Woohoo Tennessee! These roads are so much fun! Sprinkle, sprinkled a little bit. We are just shy of 2,000 miles. That's sponsored by Bush Light. Ooh, food city, I like the sound of that. And here we began the descent into Thunder Valley. Wait, is this spectator parking? All right, well, we're gonna figure this out, get this thing parked, and figure our lives out. Once again, for the last time, Valley. It's Neuter Valley. <laughs> Are we done climbing mountains yet? I don't think so. Apparently not. Bristol. As you can see by the amount of people walking the opposite direction of us, we got here a little later than we wanted to. We made sure our first stop was the table where they punch your cards which then led to the table where you get your long hauler plaque. We got him. We got the goods. All that for another long haul poster. Totally worth it. <laughs> After that, we spent the last few minutes hanging out with our friends, who we mostly only see once a year at this event. Eventually, it was time to go, everybody was leaving, so Jacob gave us a ride outside of the venue to our car. Well, Mook. Yeah. We're so damn tired. Yeah. We forgot to shoot an outro at the yeah. venue. Yeah. We're we have what 900 miles to drive. Yeah. To get home. We. After saying goodbye to our friends and everyone going their own way, Kevin and I stopped for dinner and started making our way home. We of course enjoyed the beautiful, beautiful scenery around us the whole time. Sun for a second. Uh, welcome to Virginia, Mook. Thanks. Surprise, we get to go to yet another state <laughs> in the Cutlass. Look at that. 109,000. 109,000. 109,000. In the mountains of 
some state. Yeah. Tennessee, Virginia, we don't know. Yeah. That's a long tunnel. The future is now! <laughs> Warp speed! <laughs> oh, well, the camera didn't focus, but oh. we're staying at a, a, a Hilton. Ooh. Big fancy tonight. Gucci. We knocked off a little over two hours on the trip. Actually, I think I drove for uh, two hours and then you drove for an hour. Only 10 hours left. There was a 13 an hour and 40 hour and a minute hour. I don't know, man. I zoned out. out for seven hours Where there. Where are we? Why am I in the well, anyway, park? We are gonna go <laughs> sleep. Because we need Right it. now. I can't even hold the camera straight. So, Kabalamu. Well, we had our breakfast. Time to hit the road. But we notice. Oh, there. We got some new joint noises. Yeah, we even mentioned that in the video. We made it way early on. Ever since we left with this car from Texas after doing U joints, we've had a vibration, like a high freak vibe. And I noticed in the mountains yesterday, if I'm in neutral or coasting, I hear dup, 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 and I can feel it in the floor right where the uh, tranny cross member is. And this morning, rolling, the car stalled, and it was actually quiet and rolling for the first time, and it was very loud. So I went underneath, and I grabbed the front of the drive shaft, and it goes <laughs> So, uh, that brand new U-joint was either not the right size, or the drive shaft was so out of balance that it killed it in 3,000 miles. So we're gonna go to find an O'Reilly's and replace those. Come on in, you stink. We're at a... Uh... Twenty two hundred miles almost. What? Oh my god, we are. <laughs> we still have ten hours to try. No, don't remind me. <laughs> okay, we made it to O'Reilly's. It's loud as heck in this parking lot, but we got a new U joint. We are going to install it. We got the front wheel hooked onto something so the car is less likely to roll back on us. Yeah. Go pop that drive shaft out of there, stinky. I'll get the hammer. Did you get him? Yep. That's good. I was not able to. Uh, pry bar. Pry bar. But while I was under there, I figured out where our brake leak is. Brake fluid leak is. Okay, so at previous stops, we had noticed that we needed to fill up brake fluid. And we were like, hmm, wonder where the brake leak is. When I was under there, I noticed, oh, that tire's full of some stripies there. <laughs> In the bueno. I guess we got a bad wheel cylinder. All right, ready? Ready. Here comes the goo. Oh my gosh. Self removal. What? We've put 3,000 miles, a little over 3,000 miles on this car. It vibrated from day one, though. Yeah. Look at So, upon further inspection, Kevin noticed something. So, if you look right here, see how much is sticking out over here? Yeah. See how much is sticking out over here with None. the black thereof? See that silver gap right there? Yeah. See no gap over here? Uh huh. My catch ring fell out of its groove, or more than likely was never in the groove when I put it together at 120 degrees, getting attacked by wasps in Texas. So, all we have to do hit this cap down. And properly seat that ring, which you can see is not in its home right now. And this U-joint is actually still just fine now. <laughs> no slop. So that's why it was slowly growing and getting worse as that cap was walking out. So it was on its way to flying out and ruining the shafts, ends, yoke. Our yeah, lives. Yeah, it could have pulled all the car, ripped the whole rear end of the car out, actually. So it's a good thing we checked that. Should have checked that like 2,800 miles ago. Yeah. But hey, you live and you learn. All right, well, we got them to see, I think. I officially don't love this style of retaining clip. I like the outside style better, the one that sits right here with the snap ring. Because those ones are positive, like you can definitely tell on their end. These ones, pretty hard. Either way, that's in there now. As you can see, I can barely move that. So what we're gonna do is ring the bell. One more. There we go. 
Now she's good to go back in. Let's get her in, move. Yeah. Well run. The roughest road. Yeah. <laughs> it must be redoing this. Perfect test. We're trying. We're trying to listen for U joint noise. So far, nothing. But all we hear is road. I can always feel it if I put my left foot here. I can feel right where the transmission connects. I feel. Thump, 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 thump. And it's not there anymore. So now the whole car is shaking. <laughs> well, I mean, we know it's fixed. We just fixed it. <laughs> Curious to see is that the vibration at speed is gone, which might be a bent shaft. Yep. No, no. All right, well, we've got just under 10 hours of driving. We're gonna flip-flop every couple hours or so, but. See you in the B-roll. Yeah, see you in the B-roll. See you in the next state, whatever that is. Uh, goodbye. This here was our last power tour car that we saw, which is always sad, but I learned something from it. It says silver 210, which was a thing that Chevy did from 1953 to 57. It shortened the production series number 2100 by one digit to trend towards numerical automates. So that was cool. Alright, we're about to go into like three different states within 20 minutes. The Ohio River. We'll be in Indiana, then Ohio, then back into Indiana after leaving Kentucky. Shortly after that, we passed the largest building I've ever seen with the O'Reilly's name on it. We were both overwhelmed and just awestruck, to be frank. <laughs> Here we've got just 400 miles left to go on our trip, and we finally crossed the border into Illinois, which is the last state before Iowa, of course, if you're familiar with the US map. The scenery around us started looking more and more like home. Here was a large seed company operation question mark. Uh, this didn't look much like home obviously, but it was our last step. And here is the Iowa border, finally. There it is, Moog. The last gas stop. The last gas stop. I'm so burger flipping tired. Well, we just got off the interstate. It's a big moment. It means we're getting a lot closer. I can't wait to be home. Me either. I love Power Tour, but I can't wait to be home. Looks like rain's coming. It does. Well, we do look incredible, so maybe it has been raining. Welcome home, Moose. <laughs> if my math is right, we are just shy of 2,900 miles on this thing. You are 20, no, not even. You're 17 miles short. Yeah. If my math is right. <laughs> oh. Well, that's going to do it for the power tour video. It is a lot of fun. It's draining, but it's fun. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go inside and shower for three hours and then sleep for like a week. Does that sound like a plan? Or maybe I'll just wait for it to rain. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> Come on, Mook, you gotta go inside. You gotta, you gotta move your Jeep so that you can get your car in. It's gonna rain. <laughs> I did it! Um, I'd like to thank my Cutlass for surviving almost 3,000 more miles. It's getting a spa day ASAP. It's getting uh, oil change going through the fluids cleaned <laughs> inside and out. Shower time. Shower time. Yeah, get in there, stinky. Mm.